Public safety announcement. Boy, I tell you, this is a big week, man. It's hype week. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you're an LSU fan, you 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 know you saying it's Bama week. That's what y'all say over there. For an Alabama fan, it's another big ball game for us. You know what I'm saying? For y'all, but 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 it is all good. I wanna get a couple things off my chest real quick and uh let y'all know some things. But I'm going to start with my little brother team first. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to start with them. Auburn Tigers, let me tell y'all something. L looking at the situation, when y'all went to Baton Rouge, I got to admit about something that I didn't say. I look back at the game, man, y'all was robbed. Y'all was robbed in Baton Rouge. I'm going to be honest with you. When I went back and looked at the game and I saw all the damn holding, that, that that LSU was doing on the offensive line. I, yeah, Bo Nix played like crap. Gus, Mon, uh, Gus Malzahn coached like crap. But y'all was on a double-edged sword. You had your quarterback playing terrible in Baton Rouge. And on top of that, you still had a chance to win the game. But I understand everybody want to see LSU undefeated to play the big boy. Alabama, but I just want to let y'all know as a big brother that we always been to you guys when a team beat y'all, we go beat them. This is what we going to do. Because y'all was robbed in Baton Rouge. As a big brother, you know, it won't be no holding in, in, in Tuscaloosa this week. We going we gonna to get that. We going to make sure that. We going to make sure that that the way y'all got robbed in Baton Rouge, in Death Valley, or Tide Valley, whatever you want to call it. That's what we call it. Y'all was hell, man. And that's a shame, man. I, I, I just wanted to let y'all know that. And I'm going to tell you something else, Auburn Tigers. I'm, 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 I'm going to tell y'all something right now. This past weekend. Now, we're going to take up for you this weekend. But this past weekend, y'all played Ole Miss. And like they lost the damn game at the end of the game. Dominated the game. Dominated. But let me say this right here. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Because I know y'all paid Gus Malzahn $49 million. Everybody know he's overpaid as a high school coach. But Bo Nix played decent in that game. Your team played hard in that game. And your coach liked to gave the damn game away. I'm going to be honest with you. If... If y'all had a lost that game, Auburn Tigers, y'all had a lost that game, I'm telling you right now, as a diehard Alabama fan that I am to my heart, I would have, I'm gonna be, I might get in trouble to say this, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I would have, if y'all have lost against Ole Miss at, and Ole Miss stole the game, I believe I would have went and bought me a ski mask. I'd have robbed Gus Malzahn. I'd have found him and robbed him for that forty-nine million dollars and got it back for y'all. I'd have got that forty-nine million dollars back for y'all. Cause I just like, ain't no way in the hell I'ma say him. Why these people keep taking this from this high school coach? Forty-nine million dollars. I'd have robbed his ass. I'm got. I would have got that money back for y'all. But it is what it is. That's all I had to say about that. Big brother got you back this weekend, but. Let me say this about the Tigers, the LSU Tigers. Uh, <laughs> ain't gonna be no holding in Tulsa loose. You can bring you. I'm telling you right now. If you if you if you don't start none, won't be none. You ain't gonna be holding nothing in Tulsa loose. You'll get your ass flagged in Tulsa loose. I promise you that. So let's just get that out the way, you know. But boy, I tell you. <laughs> Louisiana, boy. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Y'all finally came around. Y'all finally came around and put our coach in the Hall of Fame in Louisiana. About damn time. You know, look at all them buttermilk biscuit coaches y'all done had in the past. None of them. None of them did what this man did for y'all program. Y'all was so mad, bent hell over. That y'all ain't want to do it, but y'all did it. I'm, I just want to say congratulations on that.
By the time y'all woke y'all ass up and did that. Nick need to be in the Hall of Fame. Nick need to be in everybody's Hall of Fame. But uh, let me say this here too, you know. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, y'all state look like a boot. It does. I know y'all call Louisiana the boot. But I'm going to be honest with you. Nick Saban going to kick y'all with a pair of boots this weekend. <laughs> yeah, you ain't, I'm telling you now. Yeah, y'all, y'all look, y'all state look like the boot. Y'all call it the boot. I'm telling you, the Crimson Tide going to kick y'all ass with a pair of boots this weekend. You can believe that. You know, so y'all get ready for that. I promise you. But uh, I'm going to be in the house too, boy. While he putting that boot upside y'all damn head. And y'all can run back to the boot. <laughs> but, but check this out too, man. I just want to say this to all the recruits out there. And I'm, I, and I'm dead serious now. I know it's a big ball game, but some things ain't funny. And some things just need to be said. And somebody like me will say it, you know. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. If you're a recruit, big time recruit, five star, four star, you want to win, listen to me. If you want to win, at LSU, when they recruit you, they tell you, you come to LSU to beat Alabama. At Alabama, they tell you, you come to Alabama to beat everybody's ass. Roll damn tide. 